All right, what's going on guys? It's Slim here and welcome back to another video on the channel. And in today's video, I wanna talk about the two things that I think could save Wizard 101 in 2024. And keep in mind, this is a lot of stuff that the community has been saying for quite some time now, but I figured I would compile this all into one constructive video as I often do. So the first thing I wanna talk about is simply going to be the quality of the updates. Now. You can make an argument that the updates were good before in the prime time of Wiz and they kind of fell off or they have gone better as of recent years. I would argue the updates used to be a little bit better and then we had a time where things kind of fell off and now King Sal is starting to pick back up again, which is great. But what I'm saying is in terms of like quality of updates and stuff like that is simply by the simple things that really, really pisses people off, right? So. If you're a PvP player right now, for example, King's Isle actually took the time to ban Efreet because Efreet is not following the new school identity of Fire. That is what it is. The King's Isle forced those rules with Rajambo. So if you don't like that, don't be mad at me. That's the game they build. So they banned this card knowing it's an issue and knowing it has no identity. However, the players are upset because they forgot to ban the treasure card one. Now in Test Realm, I was making this abundantly clear from I think week one and week two that, hey, uh, you guys are gonna ban the TC, right? Hey, you guys are gonna ban the TC, right? Now, that stuff always gets shocked off to me being, oh, negative in a video or Liam's just being negative on stream. But what do you know now? The servers are in live realm, right? We haven't gotten a hot fix at all. The PvP meta is being held hostage by all this stuff because you bounce the game a lot better but you simply forgot to do the simple things. Like, hey, we banned these cards, but we actually forgot to ban the cards. So now myself and other people in the community and other creators that do PVP have to be held hostage by this meta where we know it's simply just not even supposed to be in the game in the first place and it's purgatory. So do you get mad at the creator and label them as negative or do we hold this upon King's Isle for, you know, not enforcing their, enforcing their own rules and simply just by forgetting to ban the treasure card when it's, kind of a simple thing to do, I would imagine. This can also be talking about exploits in PvP or PvE as well, guys, right? You know, uh, most notably, we had the stat cap exploit. This basically allowed players to run 100% resist and just be immune and snipe people and stuff like that. It also enabled cosplay, which if you don't know, is basically uh, kind of like how in PvE, where a life and an ice can play storm with like just better stats that's what happened in pvp and they actually addressed that and fixed that months ago because it's not intended to be in pvp and it's fixed now and all but you kind of wonder why like these things like how did they not get past qa testing so what i'm saying here is basically the quality of the updates need to be better and we need to hold kings out to a higher standard right if we're gonna say something's gone it needs to be gone in the update. If you're literally at your job and you're told to do something or you're going to do something and then you simply don't do it, of course, people are going to be mad at you, right guys? That's just common sense. And it's the same thing here in Wizard 101. Now, the second thing I wanna talk about is going to be the content, advanced content, and just the content generally in the game. Now, I am aware there is a very, very big, percentage of the game that doesn't really watch youtube videos you know isn't really even familiar with what rochambeau is or advanced content right there's a very big percentage of that that doesn't even get to the end of the game but my point here is wiz has basically 170 levels of content uh with side quests and side activities so if you're looking at the game from that point of view there is a lot of things to do in the game right i understand that and there's farming as well so new things to do in the game. So stuff like having something like the four dungeons be remastered or have a whole new four dungeons DLC where there's different dungeons and different areas of the game. And this point might be controversial, but I think the people have kind of made their voice kind of clear here on YouTube and on streams. Uh, you know, people don't like how high the barrier to entry is for stuff like PvP, like raids as well. I know the raid was designed for the elitist or whatever like that and all, but why are we designing stuff for the elitist when they're like literally make up what 5% of the game? Now, don't get me wrong. As somebody who is like among that group, I do appreciate it. But at the end of the day, like you just got to 
think about things, right? Like you're a businessman, the content should be accessible to everybody. Or they could even have a thing potentially in the raid where like there's a standard and an advanced mode like we have in all the other forms of advanced content, right? The more elitist people could do the advanced mode, which is kind of what we have now in the current build of the raids. And then we could have like a standard mode pretty much where it's a lot more accessible anybody can go in and do it and a lot of people might have the opinion this will basically mess up the integrity of the raid and all and i can kind of see where you're coming from there but more people would be happy in the game guys like you have to think about this right and you can make both of those communities happy if you design it correctly if we can simply get even like 30 percent more of the game into raids that is a huge number increase like, i don't think you guys are understanding that right the current amount of people that raid like it, it's got like it's decent you know chunk of the community but it's only like five percent right just just think if that was simply up to like 30 percent that'd be there'd be way more views on youtube there'd be way more population it'd be way easier to you know uh run guilds and raids more frequently but instead it's like this niche little elitist community and stuff and i think that's really not good for the game king's up puts all this time in into working on the raids and all and the raids themselves i think are not bad pieces of content i will say that guys um if you're somebody who hasn't done a raid or you really don't like raids i'm sure you can still respect my opinion on this i've done hundreds of both raids uh, the Polaris one, or sorry, the Azteca one, and the Dragonspire raid as well. But the content in the raid is actually not bad. It's just the accessibility issue. And once you're in the raid, it actually is pretty fun to do. So I think King Sao can strike a balance between stuff being difficult, but also fun. And then things being accessible, but then also require a bit more time to do but as of right now i think they're basically as far away from the goalpost in every section of like the raid and advanced content and when you guys really break things down numerically right and this is what i don't get okay is if you're a company why do you look at these statistics and go out on them right so Wiz has like an uh, what four big updates a year three big updates a year right why are we doing one of those for like five percent of the player base it just it doesn't make sense to me it really doesn't make sense to me bruh i would much rather we had big pve updates that was accessible to the entire game i do like challenging content i don't want to act like i don't like it i've literally done all of it guys i have everything like whether it's max tier beast moon robes to Catalan, raid wins every piece of meta gear pets i have literally everything i want to make that very clear I'm no stranger to challenge. I like it a lot. But numerically, it would be way healthier for the game if they just focused on actual big PvE updates. You could have simply release the new Gauntlet, for example, with a challenge mode. So uh, you could please that advanced content kind of players by doing the challenge mode if they wanted to. And then you could have the standard mode for the normal PvE people as well. So I honestly feel like getting rid of raids entirely might honestly be the wave because you could put all that development time and resources into doubling down and putting content in the updates that you have and making them more polished, which I think is a very big thing. These small things like death and like the things not being banned when they're supposed to be banned, it's really frustrating because when you picture the game with those things actually balanced, like this meta is actually so freaking good, man, you know? So that most uh, that's what makes it more frustrating as well. So yeah, I'm a firm believer. Those are the two things Wiz needs to focus on right now in 2024 those are the biggest problems they are facing right now in the game is accessibility oh my god is accessibility and just getting more pve content out there man you know because i know so many creators even who are just kind of burned out and they're just they just feel like they have nothing to do on ways oh we waited four months for the gauntlet i did it once and that's it i'm done like 30 minutes of my time that's it gone done you guys can tell me if i'm wrong in the comments below i guess but i generally believe in this and i've seen it from the community as well you know twitch streams my streams other people's streams youtube comments other people's youtube uh comments as well i've seen it everywhere twitter right and i genuinely believe this is how the community feels and you know this is how i feel as well you know i really like to see wiz be more of a casual game like it was when i got into it before i even got everything in the game i really like to see them focus on things like the four dungeons and having an advanced mode for like 
the four dungeons or a new kind of four dungeons system. You know what I mean? I might just be crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you on the next one. If you made it this far, leave a like and a sub and take care.